Improving the Disney Parks experience for older adults and seniors. It's simple. Money talks. If money talks loud enough, meaning when a group of potential consumers is large enough to impact directly and indirectly the profit and loss of a company of any size, these for-profit companies will not only listen, but they will take action accordingly or else their competition will. Hi, it's Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel to Disney. This video is different. Our logo isn't even on this video. It is the second video summarizing the input we received when we asked a group of over 10,000 Disney-loving seniors how their experience at a Disney park could be improved, and they told us volumes. This video focuses on the money-saving ideas generated by the seniors we asked, and some of these suggestions may even generate revenue and profit for Disney at its theme parks. And just to get it out of the way, if you are learning from this video as you watch it, please give it a thumbs up so others will know to watch and consider sharing it with your other Disney-loving senior friends. Now, where did we find 10,000 Disney-loving seniors to ask? We asked members of the Facebook group called Disney for Seniors, a community of seniors with a passion for all things Disney. This group has now doubled over the past few weeks since the poll. This is what we asked them. If you were to have five minutes with a Disney executive, what one suggestion would you tell him or her to make Disney theme parks a better experience for seniors? In this video, we've categorized the money saving ideas for seniors from seniors as follows. And for context, we are using AARP's definition of a senior, which is anyone 50 years or older. And just in the United States, there are more than 125 million seniors a huge market segment for Disney, which is growing. With that, let's start at the top. And I'll admit I'm taking a little bit of liberty with this collection of ideas from the Disney for Seniors Facebook group. Exactly what is meant by salute to seniors? It would be a week or longer where Disney celebrates those guests within the senior market segment during what would otherwise be an off-peak time at Disneyland or Walt Disney World. According to the Disney Vacation Club points charts created and maintained by Disney, this would be during the months of January, September, and the first half of May each year. Except, of course, during Run Disney weekends. The idea would be to provide temporary discounts for seniors to provide financial motivation for more seniors and their families to visit Disney parks during these off-peak times of the year on anything from park admission tickets for out-of-state guests to discounts at all or a selection of Disney resorts and hotels, discounts at Disney's park and Disney resort restaurants, park merchandise, and so on. What a great way to celebrate and honor seniors. And it is not something that has to last the entire year, just a week or two. And yes, Disney would not have to use AARP's definition of a senior. It's their theme parks and resorts after all, so they can use any definition they want those 70 years and older, those 65 years and older, and so on. Our first video on this topic already mentioned different events which could occur in the parks, which many seniors would like to see, so we won't repeat them here. Next up were suggestions put forth on providing senior discounts to Disney's existing park admission ticket offerings. Presently, Disney does not offer any type of senior-specific discount for park admission. When seniors are fortunate enough to retire, Many may have more free time, but are not going to have as much disposable income. This discount could be applied only to some of the current park admission offerings, such as those with blackout dates, or to all park admission tickets. Several in the group also wanted to see a return of the after 4 p.m. park admission tickets that Disney used to provide. The next money-saving idea put forth by the Disney for Seniors Facebook group received a lot of support. And it is because as seniors age, we tend to go on less and less ride-type attractions, especially those thrill-type of ride attractions. What about a new class of park admission ticket for everyone, not just for seniors necessarily, that allows park entrance and admission to show-type attractions, but not on any ride-type attractions? Many responses from the seniors echoed this idea. It could increase park attendance without increasing lines at ride attractions, and with increased park attendance comes the possibility of more money spent on food and merchandise, 
while the seniors are inside the Disney parks. The next suggestion was put forth by a new member of the Disney for Seniors Facebook group after we completed the survey, which I think is a brilliant one. The idea? Create a senior-specific Lightning Lane discount. It helps address the challenges for some seniors having to wait in long attraction lines due to decreased stamina and increased health issues. It is not tied to any type of park admission ticket and can encourage more Lightning Lane multi-pass or single-pass purchases when a senior is going with their multi-generational family at the Disney parks. The last grouping of money-saving suggestions for seniors by seniors includes discounts for food, resorts, and souvenirs inside Disney parks and at Disney resorts. The food discount is an interesting one with seniors frequently eating less as they age for health reasons. This would enable seniors to be more likely to join family members at a buffet or all-you-can-eat style park restaurant because they would pay less since they tend to eat less although of course not in all cases. There is also the case to be made that some guests of all ages have medical reasons restricting their diets, who could benefit from some meal discounts since they would not be eating as much, regardless of their age. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing, if not already done so, to our Nancy and Dan Travel to Disney channel. Let us know in the comments below additional ways how you, a senior or a family member with a senior, could save money at Disney parks. If you did not view the first video in this series of Seniors at Disney, you can do so right now by clicking on this link right here. As well, here's another video for you from our Disney-focused travel YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.